Thank you for listening to Discovering the Scriptures with Dr. Peter John Parises. Currently, we are in Daniel, chapter 6, verse 19. Reading first from the King James Bible. Then the king arose very early in the morning, and went in haste unto the den of lions. Unquote. Let us pray and ask God for wisdom. Lord, we're here before you, and we're asking that you would give us the wisdom we need. Through the Holy Spirit, our teacher, by you or by Jesus so we know that we're doing the right thing on understanding this verse and how it applies and what you want us to get from it please you are saying James 1 if we need wisdom asking to be given unto you so I'm asking please and also I'm asking that you would speak with us at the end of our prayers when we give you a moment of silence out of respect and anticipation In Jesus name I pray Thank you. Any more time, hit the pause button. Let's go ahead and look at this in Young's Little Translation. Quote, Then does the king rise in the early morning at the light, and in haste to the den of lions he hath gone. Unquote. What does this mean? Well, let's go ahead and look at this in context to find out. The paragraph is Daniel 6, 18-20. Quote, then the king went to his palace and passed the night fasting. Neither were instruments of music brought before him, and his sleep went from him. Then the king arose very early in the morning and went in haste unto the den of lions. And when he came to the den, he cried with a lamentable voice unto Daniel. And the king spake and said to Daniel, O Daniel, servant of the living God, is thy God, whom thou servest continually, able to deliver thee from the lions." Unquote. That's the paragraph that this baby is in. Let's go ahead and parse out this verse and see how Daniel is writing this in the Aramaic, the court's language, not in Hebrew. Then the king arose. Now this is written in a PL, casually written, in perfect aspect, so it's not complete. Very early in the morning and went that parsing of and went, P.L. Stem, casually written, perfect aspect, completed, and went in haste. That is an I-T-H-P-E-A-L, that's I-T-H-P-E-A-L, and this is basically an intensive reflective, and it's an infinite aspect, so I-N-G. It's intensive reflective, in haste. So he's thinking. Unto the den of lions. Now that gets us the portion of this verse. If we go further and we take a look at this in the interlinear Bible to see is there anything at all that we can get out of this, I would look and focus on in haste. What is going on with this? What is the meaning? To frighten, alarm, dismay, to hurry, hasten. So he is alarmed. He is trying to find out. What has become of Daniel? Because we know that the lions will start to eat again before the uh, high heat happens. So roughly morning, noontime. So is he trying to be an instrument of being a savior to Daniel? Or is Daniel already dead? Do these lions like to kill their, their um, eatings the day before? Yes watch and see how, what the lions do and you'll see that yes they'll kill and they'll keep the carcass around and eat it the next day or however long it takes for them to be done with it they eat about 11 pounds of meat per day so one sheep would last 10 lions if there's 10 lions in that den for one day Daniel he's 85 90 year old man he's an old man how, how much is he weigh we are never told we don't know so we're not sure what kind of food he would be if even tasteful, but they're definitely going to kill him and then eat him. That's what they do. So let's read John Gill's commentary on this. Then the king arose very early in the morning, or in the morning with light, as soon as ever light appeareth, or the day broke. The word for morning is dubbed, and one of the letters is enlarger than usual, and all which denotes 
not only his very great earnestness in rising, but his earnestness and solitude for Dave, Daniel to know whether he was alive or not. So he rose up very early and went in haste into the to the den of lions. He did not send a servant, but went to in person, and with as much expedient as possible. Though a king and an old man, this shows the great love and strong affection he had for Daniel and his concern for good and welfare. Now remember, we know that this king is in his 60s. Daniel is 85 to 90 years old. So he has to wait, the king, until it's daylight so he doesn't trip and fall and break his hip. Because they know in their age, falling can break your hip and can kill them. They know this. So he has to make sure that there's enough light so he can make it to the rocky places to get to this cave, this den, where Daniel's at. To which he does. He rises early in the morning. Is he trying to be an instrument to to accomplish what might be done to save Daniel? Maybe. We don't know. But we do know that Daniel wrote this casually. So we do know that there is nothing on here except to show what took place. And how does this go on? You're just going to have to stay tuned and find out. But so far, this story about Daniel in the lion's den is showing us that Daniel is showing us that we need to be forgiving and not hold any grudges against those that do us wrong and against the instruments that are used for that wrongness to be done to us during the last days. Go ahead and hit the like button if you like this. Make any comments if God gives you any, any instructions. Please tell others about this so they can go ahead and subscribe. Hit the subscribe and the little bell button down below and then we'll go ahead and let you know uh, that more is coming up. God bless you. And may you have a wonderful day in the Lord.